Okay, we are going to be making cinnamon rolls. I have here my three cups of flour, my three-fourths cup of sugar, my three-fourths cup of water, tablespoon of oil, half a teaspoon of salt, two and a quarter teaspoons of baking, I mean of yeast. I have a fourth of a cup of sugar, my one egg, my butter that is slightly melted, and my hot water. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to proof our yeast. So you're going to add the one fourth cup of sugar there, and you're gonna add your yeast, and you're going to stir that up. You need to give that a little stir. Now the water you have heated up for about 10 seconds, so it's warm. You don't want it too hot because it will kill the yeast. And then you just let it sit there. In this bowl, we are going to add our sugar, our water, our salt, our butter, And our one egg and you're going to mix that up after I clean up my mess and give that a little stir kind of mix it up Okay, now that the yeast has set a little bit, it's starting to get all frothy on the top, you know it's active. So you're gonna take that, give it a little stir, and make sure the sugar is mixed in, and you're gonna pour that into the bowl with everything else. Give that a stir, and you'll have this nice yeasty smell to it. Now, here's my flour, and basically we're just gonna add a little flour and stir it in. Now it says three cups of flour, but we may actually only use two and a half. You may need even more than three. It depends on the weather and how much humidity is in the air. So you just keep incorporating this, stirring it round and round. Now you add in a little bit more. Try to do like a third and a third and a third. Just keep mixing. Eventually it's going to get sticky enough where you have to do this with your hands. That's part of the fun of making bread. It's getting your hands all gooey. So today it looks like it's going to take all three cups. So put that in. Move the bowl off to the side and mix that up. actually going to take more than three cups today. So let me get some more flour. And I'm going to put in another half a cup. That should fix it. Okay. Now, you should have already wiped down your counter here so it is safe. You roll this out onto the counter. You want to scrape all the dough that's sticking on there onto the pile. Okay, and the recipe it said you're going to have extra flour for kneading it, and now is when we come in with the kneading. So you're going to take your extra flour, 
And you're just going to kind of sprinkle it on the top and around it. You're going to scrape the dough off of the spoon and you're going to knead it. So basically you're going to put it into a ball and fold it and keep doing this until it's a nice thick consistency and it's not so sticky. This is when your assistant chef is going to add more flour to it because it's still very sticky. So I'm going to change the recipe so you have enough flour and not so much water in there. All right, now we're starting to get somewhere. Scrape it off your fingers, add it to the pile. Yeah, I know, it looks gross. It feels fun. It's like a big old pile of Play Doh. Spread out some more flour. Again, spread out some more flour. You can, at this point, rub your hands together and that'll get off all the big chunks of dough. It just kind of comes off. It's like playing with a big old blob of Play Doh. Put some more flour down. Grab all your little chunks, stuff them in the middle, and then you keep kneading. You need to knead it for about five minutes. What you're doing is you are creating gluten, which is that mesh part of dough. Okay, that looks like it's about ready. All right, so what you're gonna do going to form it into like a little ball. See it's not sticky anymore. So you're going to take your same bowl and with that oil you're going to pour that tablespoon of oil in here and you're going to put your dough down and kind of roll it around so it's kind of all covered in that oil. And what that does is it keeps it from sticking to the bowl. Then you're going to take saran wrap, put that over the top, put a label on it with your class period and your uh, kitchen number, put it in the fridge, and tomorrow we will do our next step. All right, so we are on day two of our cinnamon rolls, and I have pulled out, and here is our dough that we made yesterday. If you can see closely, it has doubled in size, even though it's been in the refrigerator. So you can do this in multiple days. I have a cup of cinnamon sugar, a half a cup of butter, a tablespoon and a half of cinnamon. I have some flour, spoon, rolling pin, some spray, and then my pan, I'm gonna put the uh, cinnamon rolls in. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to soften up our butter and 
you'll have a measuring cup to put that in. So you're going to do that. Put that in the microwave for about 10 seconds, maybe 20, because you want it to be somewhat liquid. The other thing you'll need is a pastry brush. Uh, you can go ahead and add your cinnamon to your sugar. You can go ahead and stir that up. I'm going to move my bread out of the way. All right, our butter is melted. So this is stirred up. We'll set that to the side. See it's somewhat melted. It'll continue melting while you're getting the rolls together. So the assistant chef or one of the gophers can sit here and just kind of move it around, kind of get it somewhat liquidy into a paste um, because you're going to brush your dough once it's all rolled out. So it should look something like that. So when you pick it up, your pastry brush will have it and you can paint your dough. So I'll put that to the side. Now, we have this flour. You're gonna take a little bit. You've already cleaned your counter. So you're gonna put this flour down and you're gonna take your dough and put it down here. And don't break a bowl. And then you're gonna take some more of the flour and put it on top. The reason you use the flour is so the dough won't stick. And then rub your hand over your rolling pin and you're going to roll that out. And then you're gonna turn it, flip it over, and do this way. And you're going to make a big rectangle out of it. And you just keep going until you get a nice rectangle. Now the dough is gonna move some, that's okay. You just want to flatten it out some. And then you're going to turn it over again. If it starts to stick, that's when you're going to add a little more flour to it. You can get it out of your cup that you have, or you can just grab it from the pile that's sitting on the counter. But you're going to roll this out until it's maybe about a, a quarter of an inch thick all the way around. like a big pizza. Okay, we're almost there. All right, now you're going to take your butter mixture here and you're just going to paint all the way over. See, I didn't get mine into a rectangle. It's okay if that doesn't happen. It'll still work, and it doesn't need to be pretty, but you're going to get all this butter all over the top. You know, just kind of paint it on. That's why we have this pastry brush. Don't go all the way to the edges because you need that area to seal it together. And just keep painting your, your masterpiece. And it sounds like a lot of butter, looks like a lot of butter, but you need that to make that nice gooey center. So you're gonna use all of it. And yes, I'm doing two things at one time, so I have something in the oven already. Oops, I missed. So just kind of smush it around till it's all over. All right, 
pulse that clock. Okay, now you're going to take your brown sugar and cinnamon mixture and you're going to sprinkle this. You can use the spoon. I find it easier if you use your hands and just kind of sprinkle it over that buttered area. It's kind of like covering a pizza but with brown sugar. And that is how you make the stuffing. Then you're going to carefully take one edge and you're going to kind of fold it over. And then gently you're going to start rolling this up. Try to keep it even. And then you're going to bring it around and where the edges are, you're going to kind of pinch it together. Otherwise your cinnamon rolls will come apart. And if you hear that, yes, my stomach is growling because it's lunchtime. Kind of make it somewhat even looking. All right, then you're going to take your pan and you're going to put a little spray on the bottom because you don't want the cinnamon rolls to stick. Again, you spray this either up at the counter like this or over a trash can or over the sink. And then you're going to take your knife and you're going to cut off the end and you're going to cut off this end so that way it's kind of nice and even. You're going to cut it in half and I'm going to get a different knife because this is not working. Okay, this will work. So you're going to have your sharp chef knife. So you cut that in half. Then you're going to cut that in half again. And then just keep doing it. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're going to end up with a lot of cinnamon rolls. I know that breaks your heart because that means you get to eat more. See, I didn't seal that one very well. It's okay. Just pull the edge back over. And then just cut them in half again. You're going to end up with 16 of these little guys. Okay. Then you're going to take it, kind of flatten it out some, and line them up in the pan just like those crack and serve ones that you guys do, but these are all homemade. And you should get four cross, roughly. Well, three across on the bigger ones. Ooh. As you can tell, I didn't cut that one very well and it came apart. Just kind of shove it back together. It's okay. That will happen. So on the bigger side, you're going to have three across. On the smaller ones, you're going to have four across. And you just keep lining them up until you get it all. And I'm going to go ahead and put these little ends back in here. And there you go. And what you do is you get some saran wrap and you cover it. Put your class period and your kitchen number on it. 
and put it back in the refrigerator for Okay, while the cinnamon rolls are in the oven cooking, you're going to take your one and a half cups of powdered sugar. I have my teaspoon of vanilla and my tablespoon of water, and I have my four ounces of margarine that has been made to room temperature. So you're going to put your margarine in, and then you're going to mix that up. I'm going to smoosh it in. So, in case you're wondering what the term is, it's not smooshing it in. We're creaming our sugar and butter, just like you do when you make cookies or anything else. But you kind of mix it together. It takes a little while. You have to do it gently and slowly, or else you'll be covered in powdered sugar. Which sounds like fun, but it's a pain to clean up, and then your cinnamon rolls won't be good because it won't give you any more sugar. You could also use your pastry cutter for this and cut in the margarine, but this is so kind of easy to do with just a spoon. It kind of blends in together. See how it's looking all crumbly? It's pretty much incorporated. your vanilla and water. Stir that up. And it's going to be thick like this. Just like that icing in the break apart can of cinnamon rolls. It's a thick kind of thing. not supposed to be, you know, like a drizzle and, and loose. It's supposed to be kind of thick because it's going to melt when you put it on the cinnamon rolls. And you just kind of stir it up. And there you go. There is your icing for the cinnamon rolls. Clean up my mess. Cinnamon rolls are going to be hot, so make sure that you have one of your and then you're just going to, just like at home, spread your icing over the top. And these are a little cool, so it's not going to melt as well. But it gives you an idea of how this will work. And you just put it all over the cinnamon rolls. Then you take them out, clean up the rest of the kitchen, and then sit down and enjoy. You could change this recipe by putting a little cream cheese in the icing. You could put some nuts or raisins in the actual cinnamon sugar that we put on the inside of the cinnamon rolls. You could make it more like a caramel coating on it. There's a lot of different things you can do with these rolls. This is just like your basic, basic recipe. As you can see, it's starting to melt. 
these have been out of the oven for a little bit, so it's not melting as well. But there you go. Your cinnamon rolls, homemade, not from a can. And enjoy.